I got a package from American Girl a few days ago. We finally were able to go out and get it. I basically I had like twenty dollars saved up in rewards, um, and I don't normally get that many rewards because I don't buy from like the site or anything. Like I don't buy new stuff from them very often. But I had I went to the store for my birthday in January, and I finally got the reward for that. So I had twenty dollars in rewards, and the thing I bought was um, on clearance. So I got this. What is this for? Really cheap. Um. Oh, why am I acting like oh a surprise? I got Courtney's like sleeping bag set to go with the pajamas of hers that I have. So um I'm really excited because it's like Kvers and it's really cute. Um but yeah, I was able to get it for eleven dollars after shipping is only like twenty bucks for this set and it's like normally over thirty dollars. So I'm really excited. You can't see my face in this video, but yeah, I'm gonna open it for you guys. I already covered up my address, post it out. You know. Got it. Yeah, just gotta do that. Okay. Also, I'm using like the crappiest scissors that I have because my sewing scissors, which I normally keep on my desk when I need to be more exact, um, are in the living room. So why they put? They did all this. Well, I actually have no idea how big this box is gonna be. But I think it's gonna be this big, and there's packing peanuts in it, so this is extra. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because I've been wearing this for a while, and it was on the like last chance outlet. Whoops, I knocked down one of my Hello Kitties. Oh. Um, also try to make my desk look a little more presentable than normal, but, um, yeah, it was on last chance outlet, so probably, oh, okay, now I get it, now I get it, it's in one of these kinds of boxes, one of the bigger boxes, accessory boxes, um, but yeah, I, it was in the last chance outlet, so they're probably discontinuing it soon, and it's so, well, actually this has been, if she came out in 2020, it's been a few years, you know what I mean, like, they're so unpredictable with how long they're gonna keep stuff, it's like, I really wanted to get this, because I love the, like, cute little real things she has that are smaller. But also, fun fact, when me and my sister were younger, we had some of our first sleeping bags we ever got. She got Care Bears and I got like Dora. So it's like nostalgic because it reminds me of the sleeping bag one of us used to have when we were younger. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. Oh, I have a Care Bear here actually. This is Wish Bear. Um, when I was younger, my Care Bear was Wish Bear and my sister's was Bedtime Bear. And this is the new, like the most recent like generation of Care Bears, but I think they're really cute. So, oh, and I have, um, on my desk, I bought this for Courtney, the like new Care Bears, they have these micro ones out, and they only have like five that you can get. I don't know if you can see, but it's, um, Funshine Bear, Luck Bear, Good Luck Bear, Good Luck Bear, um, Harmony Bear, Laugh-A-Lot Bear, and Grumpy Bear, but they had these at Walmart for like four bucks. I got Grumpy Bear because it was the last Grumpy Bear, and the rest were Good Luck Bear. And the Good Luck Bear is cute, but I wanted a Grumpy Bear because look at his face. Hilarious. Um... But yeah, I got this for her, but then I ended up also getting this, and so now my Courtney will have two Care Bears, which would be cute. These aren't, like, the exact same, like, the mini one that comes with it, but it's cute. She'll have two. So yeah, this is just a mess here. I don't remember if I get anything else. Ooh, I'm so excited, though, because I actually have really grown to love Courtney's collection. Like, it's cute. It still feels weird calling it a historical collection, because, like, it's... Like, technically a lot of historical things that happened in the 80s, but it just feels so weird, you know? Because a lot of it's really modern stuff, but, um, yeah, it's cool. I'll just put it on the floor. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm using, like, such a crummy pair of scissors to open right now. But I got it. I'm excited. I'm getting so much, like, I got from when we went shopping for her birthday, I bought Molly's birthday set. Not, like, the accessories, but the outfit, and it comes with the plastic crown and the box is huge and I usually just put my boxes in doll boxes. This is not going to fit in a doll box but I guess it's storage for accessories so I mean I guess I'll just have to leave this in. I'm excited. I didn't think I was ever going to get this but I do have her pajamas so like at least I was able to get those at some point. I'm really excited. I don't normally buy accessories for my dolls that much because I don't have room to make little rooms or displays for them but like I keep saying I could not resist and I needed to get this before they discontinue it because eventually they're going to. Oh yeah, I forgot. It like feels like a sleeping bag. Oh, that's so cute. Like it has that, what is this? Polyester, you know, polyester -y feeling. That's, that's really cute. I like that. Um, I'm excited. Oh, it's so cute. I have this like hot pink, it's probably our generation doll bed. And I think, I don't know who I'm going to use it for, but if I never get, like, Courtney's official one ever one day, I'm going to use it for her because it's so brightly colored. But look, it's the tiny Care Bear. It's, like, a different scale than the micro ones, but if you do want to get, like, little Care Bears for your Courtney doll or, like, any of your Ranker dolls, get these little ones if you can find them. They're, like, four bucks and they're so cute. Um, but yeah, it's a little tiny Care Bear. I'm so excited. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I love how they're doing these little pamphlets again, like how they did with the old historical dolls, like, oh, like especially when it was Pleasant Company, they did like, um, you know, the little pamphlets and they talk about like history and stuff. So they're talking about sleepovers, ooh, how cute the fortune tellers, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but we did these two a lot in like the 2000s, fortune teller things, and they're talking about, oh this is cute. I love this. This is adorable. I want to get more of her stuff so bad. But yeah, that's just a little pamphlet and then it's a doll size sleeping bag. I've made like homemade sleeping bags for my dolls before, but this is like my first like, um, oops. Like, well no, I have this like one that's like our generation or something like that. But yeah, like I don't have, I've never had like one of the American Girl sleeping bags before. It's so cute. This is like the cameras my mom grew up with, so I can't wait to show her this because like she would love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it, like, goes all the way around. I forget how sleeping bags work. Oh, that's so cute, because you could, like, you know, un like, you know, fold it out and use it like a comforter. That works, because I would like to use this on, like, my micro beds or something. I even have, like, Samantha's bed. My sister gave me her Samantha bed, because it's, like, PLC. It's missing pieces, and she doesn't have room. She's like, do you want this? I'm like, yes. I'm just going off on tangents. But, yeah, I'm so excited about this. I'll have to, like, get Courtney set up here with it, and then I'll show you guys because she's still wearing her pajamas because I put some of my dolls in pajamas for Christmas she's still wearing them because they're so cute I can't like I don't want to change her outfit yet so mm, this is great I'm so excited okay I got her in it I wasn't sure like what to do to like show it in action because it's like it's not something she holds she like lays in it but I want to show you that yes like you know she fits in it and it's so cute like you can just zip it all the way up if you want or just like leave a flap open and she has a little sleepy bear bedtime bear I don't know I don't know that one's name. Oh, I love how Wish Bears are here because that's my bear. So it's like, mm, I'm excited. Which, uh, I'm just excited about saying, how did I not notice that? I've had that nightgown forever. But like, yeah, it's just really cute. And I love how it matches. Like, this is the same material from her pajamas. Like, the sleeves and the scrunchie. And it's just like, she looks so cute. And I love the coordination. Like, I love that it goes together. Like, oh my gosh. It's so exciting. I'm just really excited. I don't know what to do now. Just, yeah, wanted to show that, um... She fits in it, and it's adorable, and I'm so glad I got it. I'm grateful I was able to get it for so cheap, and also, like, um, I do recommend it. It's really nice, because I know sometimes when we're here these days, these days, the quality is, like, not the greatest, not as good as it used to be, um, but I definitely recommend this and stuff, but if you're, like, not sure about it, or if it because it does feel like a lot of money when it's just a sleeping bag and, like, a pillow, like, definitely save up your rewards, or if you have coupons or anything, I don't know if they ever do coupons, but you know what I mean, if you have a way to get it for cheaper, like, definitely get it, it's definitely worth that, like, you know what I mean, but also, if you don't mind paying full price, again, I recommend it, it's adorable, especially for, like, little dioramas and stuff, I'm starting to ramble now, because I'm not good at doing reviews, because I'm just, like, Okay, I like it. I'm not good at saying much else, even though I'm really good at rambling. So, anyway, anyway, basically, it's adorable. You should buy it before they discontinue it, because I feel like they're about to, because it's on Last Chance Outlet, and it's on sale. Um, but yay, it's so cute. I'm so excited. But yeah, there's Courtney. Um, thank you for watching.